Why, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a random review. I am Random Ross, and today I am reviewing uh, Ready or Not. This is a comedy horror that is, um, who is it by? That is written by Guy Busick and R. Christopher Murphy, and directed by Matt Benetzel Oplin and Tyler Gillett, starring Samara Weaving, Adam Brody, uh, Mark O'Brien, Henry Crazer, and Andy McDowell. So, uh, as I've said already, it's a comedy horror. So, um, yeah, this is October after all. Now, I usually do horror movie reviews on my horror channel, but my horror channel is doing the 31 days at the moment, so, uh, you yeah, it's pretty occupied. And I thought, hey, it's October, the, the Halloween season, I want to bring a little bit of it here to my main channel. So, yeah, I thought, why not review some horrors on this channel? You know, whilst, you know, because it is the season. So, this, as I've said already, comedy horror, etc. So, this is a film where a bride named, um, what's, what did she call herself now? Where a bride named Grace is marrying into this family from uh, a guy named Daniel, uh, played by Adam Brody, and she marries into this rich family, and they want to make sure that she's not some gold-digging whore like his brother's wife is. Um, but And, yeah, they marry, they have a good wedding, but then on their wedding night, when the clock strikes midnight, they have to play a game. Now, the bride, when the new addition of the family gets added to the dynasty they have to pick a card and it has a game on it whatever game it picks they have to play and for grace she picks the card hide and she picks the card and the card says hide and seek little to her knowing that you know she has to hide but when they find her they have to kill her and perform a sacrificial ritual to appease the devil because that's how the family got their fortune and their gaming empire you know by making board games and whatever and that's how they you know, get their fortune and they have to appease this devil Satan um, to um, you know, remain alive. And you know, the sons are pretty much convinced that it is a load of bullshit. And the guy actually Daniel actually wants to, you know, doesn't want Grace to do take part in this or actually get killed. She eventually finds out that it turns into a fight for survival. And, um, you know, she actually fights back in this. And they have to perform the ritual before dawn or so they die. Or is it bullshit? You know, is the devil and the whole ritual stuff bullcrap? You know, and did, the did they just get rich and successful by selling games and becoming a successful business? Well, I don't want to tell you that. I want you to go watch. This film came out in on the 26th of September in the UK. I knew it came out early in America and I think Australia. But anyway, uh, this re most recently came out in the UK. Um, and yeah, so uh, my likes and dislikes. What did I like? Well, I liked the humor in this. It was very dark humor. Uh, you know, the family, so, you know, like the young, like the daughter in this, um, played by Wyona, played by the woman who plays Wyona Earp. She was nuts in this. She liked Snick Coke and didn't give a shit about her health because she thought, oh, I'm protected by this demon entity. Uh, her husband was also played by that guy out of Orphan Black who plays Donnie. Uh, he too delivered comic relief to this. Um, and I also liked, you know, I just liked the action in this. There was a lot of action in this film because the family did arm themselves with weaponry and, of course... Samara Weaving's character Grace fought back and she fought good. In fact, she did, you know, she, you know, I mean, I mean, Samara Weaving, she's making quite the name for herself in horror, I might say, you know, because I've seen her in The Babysitter. I also saw her in a couple episodes of Ash vs. The Evil Dead. So she's doing pretty well for herself, you know. And I think she got the whole job of becoming actress through her uncle Hugo Weaving. That's right. Samara Weaving is the niece of Hugo Weaving, if you didn't know. Um, yeah, um, yeah, I like this. I like the, the violence in this. This film was very brutally violent. There was a lot of brutal violence in this indeed, you. From brain splattering to 
gun shoots, her head's blowing up to actual people exploding. Um, yeah, this film was just, you know, it was a gore fest. Not, not mega gory, but there was a lot of violence and kills in there. Um, so yeah, I liked all that. I liked, yeah, I just liked this film altogether. It was a good film, had good action, good violence in there. My dislikes, I didn't really like the aunt in this family. I mean, she was meant to be the creepy aunt, but she was a bit of an annoying cow. I also like that this had Andy McDowell in it, who has quite a big actress. She's been in like, I've only seen her in Four Weddings and a Funeral and them L'Oreal adverts and the fifth season of Cuckoo, which is a show on the BBC. I don't know if you know it, wherever you are in the world. Uh, but yeah, she did a great performance in this. Um, but yeah, I just liked you know, how nuts the family were. And they were like nuts in a comedic way. But you know, at the same time, this was like dark and serious and humorous. And yeah. Uh, okay, so my final thoughts and ratings for this one. Um, you know, I thought Ready or Not was, you know, I don't know, I don't know if it's anything new that's been done before, like a woman's running from a deranged killers and she's got to survive and what have you. But I thought this film was pretty okay and decent. It was quite funny in a lot of scenes. So with all that being said, I'm going to give Ready or Not, I think I'll give this a three and a half out of five. Is that a good enough score? Three and a half? Yeah, I'll give it three and a half out of five. So, that has been my review on Ready or Not, and I shall be reviewing many more horror films as possible this month, for it is October. So, have you seen this film? Let me know down in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. Don't f Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to hit that notification bell. If you love horror, I have a horror channel, and I'm doing like 31 days on that, so... That's linked in the cards above or in the description below. Feel free to check that out and watch all of 31 so far on my channel. And then there's uh, my Doctor Who channel. If that interests you at all, if you love Doctor Who, that's linked below or in the cards. Be sure to check all those out. Yeah, I just have so many different compassions for those of other things that I like doing on uh, YouTube uh, content-wise. So anyway, that's it for this one. So until next time, I bid you all a... Bye, friends. Goodbye. Yes.